of diseases that claim we've sufficient to make the best medical real. But the bubonic plague's inefficient when compared to the automobile. It's a matter requiring attention that this slaughter should have to go on by this very effective invention. Why, it's almost as clean as the bomb. Oh, the automobile, the automobile, a projectile of plastic, rubber and steel. There are no ifs or buts when you're hit in the guts by the point of an automobile. So it seems that there's some sort of crisis that has got the support of a few. And the thoughts in our heads aren't the nicest when we hear what the makers won't do. The accessories in their collection are amongst the most lethal we've seen. There are mirrors to scalp your cerebrum and there are door cracks to rupture your spleen. In the automobile, the automobile, you feel like a giant when you take the wheel. But don't be distressed if it pierces your chest when you're driving your automobile. The fumes you give off when you're driving cause fog that's as thick as pea soup. Cuts down on your hopes of surviving, for you get emphysema and croup. No matter your skill and attention, no matter your daring and nerve, they'll sell you a rear end suspension that's gonna turn upside down on a curve. In your automobile, your automobile, rush down to the showroom, pick up that deal, and if something goes wrong as you're driving along, there's a fellow we know standing by. With the safest old hers, you can